It delayed by a few weeks the entry of the virus here, which was inevitable. We are at the beginning of the storm. Unfortunately, it's going to get worse before it gets better. We are going to see many more chains of transmission in the U.S. We don't yet know how that's going to play out. We don't know how many. We don't know how widely it'll spread. We don't know whether we'll be able to contain it. We still don't know fundamentally either how infectious this virus is or how deadly it is or what the most effective ways to tamp it down are. There's no official definition of a pandemic, but it's been clear for a couple of weeks that a pandemic is inevitable. That means it will be spreading widely in many countries around the world. It doesn't mean it will be terrible. There are mild pandemics. The 2009 H1N1 influenza pandemic was a mild to moderate pandemic. Pandemic isn't synonymous with terrible, but pandemic does mean it's a major problem and we, we need an all hands on deck response. Um, the actions of the administration to reduce travel from China bought time in the U.S. It delayed by a few weeks the entry of the virus here, which was inevitable in either case. What it can't do is isolate the U.S. from the world. Right now, quite frankly, the risk of people coming from parts of the U.S. is much higher than the risk of people coming from all of China except the city of Wuhan. Clearly, there was a problem getting tests out. At some point, there should be an independent review of what went wrong so that that can be prevented in the future. It hasn't happened in the past. In the past, with H1N1 and Zika and other diseases, CDC was able to rapidly get accurate, high-quality test kits out to every state in the U.S. and every country in the world, or more than 100 countries around the world. We need to find out what went wrong and prevent that from going wrong in the future. We still don't know, for example, how important are contaminated surfaces. Is that a major way this is spreading or not? We still don't know how infectious this is. About 10, maybe 15 percent of household members become infected if there's an index case there. But that means that 85 to 90 percent of people even living in the same household aren't getting infected. Clearly, what China did was extraordinary. They had hundreds of millions of people stay home for a month. And with that, um, the transmission of the virus stopped and also economic activity largely stopped. Each community, each country, each society needs to make decisions about what it's going to do to limit the impact of this virus. I have a lot more optimism that there might be a treatment in a few months than an effective vaccine in a year, year and a half. Treatment would be a game changer here because we would be able to reduce the risk of death, we would be able to reduce the burden on intensive care units, and we might have a preventive treatment that could be given to contacts of people with the disease. And we could know within weeks or months if any of the treatments are effective. So extremely important to do rigorous, meticulous scientific studies to figure out whether there's a treatment that works. A vaccine will be a year, year and a half at the best, and success is far from certain. It's been pulled out from partnerships with countries around the world that took years to develop.